In this video, I'm going to show you the solutions to all problems in AMC 10A 2021. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Question 1. By direct computation, we can see that the values in each bracket are 2, 6, and 12 respectively. So 2 plus 12 minus 6 is 8. Answer is D. Question 2. The ratio of the number of students in the two high schools is 3 to 1. So altogether 4 portions and that's 2,600 students. So the number of students in Porsche's high school is this number times 3 over 4. And that's 1950. So the answer is C. Let x be the small number. So the larger number is then 10x. Now the sum of these two numbers is 17402. And we're supposed to find the difference. So the answer is this number times 10 minus 1 over 10 plus 1. And so the answer is 14238, which is D. Question 4. The distance traveled by the cart in each second is 5 inches, 5 plus 7 inches, 5 plus 7 times 2 inches, and so on, to 5 plus 7 times 29 inches. So the sum is 5 times 30 plus 7 times 1 plus 2, adding up to 29. And that's equals to 150 plus 7 times 30 times 29 over 2. And that's 3195, which is D. Question 5. Now there are 12 students with mean to be 8. So the total score for the K students is 8K. 12 of the students have mean to be 14, and those 12 students have a total score of 168. So the mean is this expression divided by K minus 12. So answer is B. Question 6. Let D be the distance between the trailhead and the fire tower. The time taken for Chantal to complete the entire journey described in the problem statement is half of D over 4, the first half, plus half D over 2, the second half, and half D over 3 for the third half. And that's equal to the time taken for Sean to complete half of the trail, which is half D over V, say V to be the this average speed that we are supposed to find. Then we can cancel out all the half Ds, and so 1 over V equals a half plus 1 third plus 1 quarter, and that's 13 over 12. So V is 12 over 13. Answer is A. Question 7. As purple snakes cannot subtract, so they cannot add as well, and so that means purple cannot add. Now, happy snakes can add, but snakes that cannot add cannot be happy. So we can further deduce that purple snakes cannot be happy. And the contrapositive of this statement is that happy snakes are not purple. That's the only statement we can conclude, so the answer is D. Question 8. Now we let 1.AB be 100 plus 10A plus B over 100. Using this number to multiply by 66 is 0 0.5 less than the correct answer. So add this number by 0 0.5. And so we have 1 plus the AB, the two digit number AB divided by 99. We can rewrite that as 10A plus B over 99 and use this number to multiply by 66 instead. To solve this equation, we have 0 0.5 equals 66 times 10A plus B times 1 over 99 minus 1 over 100. And so solving 10a plus b equals to 75. So the answer is E. Question 9. By expanding, we have x squared y squared minus 2xy plus 1 plus x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And that's x squared y squared plus x squared plus y squared plus 1. Factorizing, we have x squared plus 1 multiplied by y squared plus 1. The minimum value of this expression is... 0 plus 1 
times 0 plus 1, and that's 1. So the minimum is 1, answer is D. Question 10. Imagine that if we multiply this expression by 3 minus 2, then the first part will have 3 squared minus 2 squared. And if we multiply this difference of squares by 3 squared plus 2 squared, we will get 3 to the 4 minus 2 to the 4. And we can carry on to get 3 to the 128 minus 2 to the 128. Now, the final answer is this expression divided by 3 minus 2, which is just 1. So the answer is exactly C. Question 11. By writing these two numbers into a expanded form and simplifying, we will have the difference to be 2b cubed minus 2b squared, which is equal to 2b squared times b minus 1. The only possibility for this expression to be not divisible by 3 is that b is congruent to 2 mod 3. And so the answer must be 8, which is E. Question 12. Initially, let H1 and H2 be the heights of the liquid inside the two cones. Then the volumes will be 1 third times pi times 3 squared plus h1 and that's equal to 1 third times pi times 6 squared plus times h2 then simplifying h1 equals 4 h2 now after putting the spheres into the two combs let h1x and h2y be the new heights of the two combs then by similar triangles we will have the radius of the top of the liquid surfaces to be 3x and 6y respectively and the new volumes would then become this expression times pi over 3 on both of them and they have to be equal again so simplifying we will have h1x cubed equals 4h2y cubed because h1 equals 4h2 so x cubed equals y cubed which means x equals y so the ratio of the rise of the liquid is then h1x minus h1 over h2y minus h2 and we can simplify we write it here h1 times x minus 1 h2 times y minus 1 and that's exactly h1 over h2 which is again 4 so the answer is e as well question 13 notice that by drawing out the diagram we'll find out that we have many right angle triangles say a b c a b d and a c d respectively all have right angles to be at a so this tetrahedron is actually have a right tetrahedron we can find the area of the base which is 3 times 4 over 2 is 6 and then the height is simply a b which is then 2 so volume is 6 times 2 over 3 and that's 4 answer is c Question 14. The sum of roots is 10, while the product of roots is 16. So by trial and error, we can find that two of the roots are, are 1, and then four of the roots are 2. So this polynomial can be factorized as z minus 1 whole squared times z minus 2 to the power of 4. Now, expanding we'll have this times z to the 4 minus 8z cubed plus 24z squared minus 32z plus 16. So the coefficient of z cubed is then minus 8 plus minus 2 times 24 which is minus 48 and then minus 32. So the answer is minus 88 which is A. Question 15. From the equations, we know that they have the same axis of symmetry, so we can try to draw, sketch the graphs. If one of them is of this shape, then the other one should have this shape, so that they can intersect. If this is ax squared plus b, and the one in the middle, the narrow one, is cx squared plus d, then we can quickly see that c must be larger than a while the y-intercepts b and d must have this relation b must be the greater one so now to fix the values of c and a 
we have six numbers to choose and we have to choose two of two of them and we cannot permute because one has to be the larger one so the number of choices is 6c2 and now we have four numbers left and we have to fix the values of b and d again we cannot permute so it's 4c2 so multiply we have 15 times 6 which is 90 so the answer is c question 16 there are altogether 1 plus 2 plus 3 adding up to 200 numbers in the list so altogether 201 times 100 which is 20100 so to find the median we have to find the 10,050th number in this list and that actually in fact by definition is the average of this number and um, a down one ten thousand and fifty one number so um you can try to multiply um, 1 plus 2 plus 3 adding up to these five choices and in fact uh, this is the closest so 1 add plus 2 plus 3 adding up to 142 is 143 times 71 and that's 10153 so the 10,050th and the 10,051th number must be 142 so this is the median 142 question 17 by angle chasing, we have these two pairs of similar triangles. The first pair is triangle ADO similar to triangle CPO. By corresponding sides, we will have AD over CP equals AO over CO equals DO over PO. These two triangles for are similar. The reason that we need this is that we have to find AD. So, AD times PO equals DO times CP. In other words, AD times 11 equals DO times CP. The second pair is triangle ABD similar to triangle CDP. By corresponding sides, we have AB over CD equals AD over CP equals BD over DP because P is the midpoint so this ratio is 2 so then AD is equal to 2 times CP so therefore 2 times CP times 11 equals DO times CP, and so DO is 22. Now, because DO and PO are 22 and 11 respectively, we can calculate CP. CP by Pythagoras theorem is 43 squared minus 33 squared, which is 2 times root 190. And so, AD is the double of that, which is 4 times root of 190, and so the answer is 194, because M and N are 4 and 190 respectively, so answer is D. Question 18. We do trial and error. For option A, consider F of 17 over 32 times 32, which equals to F of 17 over 32, plus f of 32. Left hand side equals to f of 17 and then for f of 32 it can be rewritten as f of 2 to the fifth and so we can rewrite f of 2 fifths as 5 times f of 2 and f of 17 is exactly 17. So f of 17 over 32 is just 7, which is positive. So a is wrong. We can do the same for options b to e. Sixteen is two to the four, so we can say that as four times f of two. Left hand side is eleven. And so f of f over 16 is 3. Similarly, f of 7 over 9 
is just f of 7 minus 2 times f of 3, and that's 1. f of 7 over 6 equals f of 7 minus f of 2 minus f of 3, and that's 2. Finally, f of 25 over 11 equals 2 times f of 5 minus f of 11, which is minus 1, and that's negative, so the answer is E. Question 19. Refer to the diagram, we split into cases. For this region, both x minus y and x plus y will be positive. We know this because we can test point, say, the coordinates 1, 0. Then in this case, x squared plus y squared equals to 3 times x minus y plus 3 times x plus y. So x squared minus 6x plus y squared equals 0. x minus 3 whole squared plus y squared equals 9. So it's a square with center 3, 0 and radius 3. So it will, be, it will look something like this. Similarly, we can consider the other three regions and we'll also get curves like this, part of a circle. And in fact, they are semi-circles because the two meeting points the two meeting points will be collinear with the center when they draw a straight line. So we have four semicircles together with a square in the middle. So the total area is 2 times 3 squared times pi plus the diameter squared, which is 6 squared. So it's 36 plus 18 pi. So the answer is E. Question 20. To rearrange the five numbers that meets the condition in the problem, the only possibilities are for the numbers to increase, decrease, increase, decrease, or the, for the, to the, do the other way around, decrease, increase, decrease, and increase. So this leaves us to four possibilities for the second and the fourth entry. Three, five, or we swap them, five, three, or four, five, and five, four, respectively. For the first case, if the second entry is 3 and the fourth entry is 5, then the fifth entry must be 4. It can go nowhere. So, and, but M12 and can be put wherever they want. So there are two possibilities. Similar for the second case, again, two possibilities. And for the third and the fourth situations, the numbers 1, 2, 3 can be placed anywhere. So the number of ways to arrange them is 3 factorial, which is 6 and 6 respectively. So total is 16. Now by symmetry, the second case, the second large case should also have 16 ways to arrange them. So the total is 16 plus 16, which is 32. So the answer is D. Question 21. For equiangular hexagons, we extend the sides A, B, say A, B, C, D, and E, F. Then by angle chasing, we will reproduce three equilateral triangles, and the large triangle in black should be equilateral as well. And this triangle has an area 1, 9, 2, root 3. Doing the same on the other three sides, we have reproduced a larger triangle, and it is also equilateral as well. Labeling the sides with length A on these three sides, and B on the, on the other three, we can see that all other sides extended produced to form equilateral triangles are also in, can be written in terms of A and B. Now for the small equilateral triangle, 1, 9, 2, root 3 is the area of an equilateral triangle with side length 2B plus A. So that's root 3 over 4 times 2b plus a whole squared. So simplifying, 2b plus a is equal to 16 square root of 3. Similarly, root 3 over 4 times 2a plus b whole squared equals to 3, 2, 4, root 3. So 2a plus b equals 36. Now, the perimeter of the hexagon itself is 3a plus 3b. 
and that can be achieved by adding up these two equations. So add them up. 3a plus 3b equals 36 plus 16 root 3. So the answer n plus n plus p is just 36 plus 16 plus 3 and the answer is c, 55. Question 22. Let sheets a to b to be the pages that are removed and so which means pages 2a minus 1 up to 2b are removed. So we can say that the sum of these pages, the num page numbers, 2a minus 1 plus 2b times 2b minus 2a plus 2 over 2 plus 19 times the remaining number of pages, which is 50 minus 2b minus 2a plus 2. And that's equal to 50 times 51 over 2. Simplify. We have 1, 2, 7, 5. And we can further simplify to get b minus a plus 1 times 2a plus 2b minus 1. And then we further minus 38. And we'll get 1, 2, 7, 5 minus 19 times 50. So b minus a plus 1 times 2b plus 2a minus 39 and that equals to 325 because one of the expressions one of the parts is very close to double of the other so i would try to guess that this equals to 25 while b minus a plus 1 is 13 so solving We'll get b equals 22 while a is 10. So altogether, 13 sheets were borrowed. So the answer is b. Question 23. The only states that Friday can be located at are either the center, call it O, somewhere at the edge, call it E, or the corner, call it C. For the four hops, the, the only possibilities are first to the edge and then to the corner and stop or to edges and then back to some other edges again which be, which is actually saying uh, denoted by wrapping around and then going to the corner or hopping around and then reach the corner at the fourth hop or edge back to the center edge and then to the corner so Divide into four cases. For the first case, to reach the edge is certain for the first hop. So probability is 1. And then the second hop to the corner will be a half. Because it's um, for every grid on the edge, it can either go back to the center, to the opposite edge, or to the two corners. So it's actually 2 for 4, which is a half. Now, for the second case, edge, first edge, 1, and then back to the edge would be 1 over 4, and then to the corners is 1 over 2. And the third case is similar. And for the fourth case, is the first hop is 1, and then 1 quarter, and then from the center we go to the edge again, so it's 1, and finally a half. So we add them up. And total is 25 over 32. So answer is D. Question 24. It suffices to deal with the case when A is 2 because when A is 2, the five options are all, all have different values which are 32 over 9 and then 8 over 3. 16 over 3, 32 over 5, and 16 over 5, respectively. Now, for the case when A is 2, the graphs are actually have equations x plus 2y equals 4, 
x plus 2y equals minus 4, and then 2x minus y equals 2, and 2x minus y equals minus 2, respectively. Rearranging them, y equals minus a half of x plus 2, y equals minus a half of x minus 2, y equals minus 2x typo equals 2x minus 2, y equals 2x plus 2. Now to sketch them, they look like this. The incident point should be here. That's 0, minus 2, and then 0, 2. Now for the other two intersecting points, they're actually, say, on these two lines. And that will be minus 8 over 5. And y would then be minus 6 over 5. So to find the area of the region is actually a rectangle because notice that the two lines, the two pairs of lines are actually perpendicular. So we have four uh, right angles. So this is all, uh, clearly a rectangle. Now for the length, it will become 8 over 5 times root 5. Or for the width, is 4 over 5 times root 5. Multiplying is 32 over 5 and it fits option D. So this is the answer. Question 25. Label red chips as R, blue chips as B, and green chips as G. Wall lock, assume the center is red, and so the only possibilities are for the reds to be at the diagonals. Or they occupy the other two corners. For the first case, the green chips can only be located at while for the other diagonal it can be only located at this. If the red chips occupy two corners then the green chips must follow the same shape. So altogether there are six combinations. However, the three colors can be rearranged um, whatever they want. So the number of possibilities should be 6 times 3 factorial, which is 36. So the answer is E. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.